We are live, we are live, Unoriginal FC, back in the cut. And your boy, the mellow ball, is the $260 million man. Yes, the Hornets have agreed with the mellow ball in principle to sign a designated rookie max extension, which is five years, base value of 205 potentially going up to $260 million so long as LaMelo Ball achieves an all-NBA accolade. The kid did it, man. From Chino Hills to a $260 million man. I'm proud of the boy, man. I'm proud of the guy. I can't even cap to you. You get me? This shit sometimes is bigger than basketball because... I remember the days when when they said that Melo wasn't going to make the league. I remember the days they said LaMelo wasn't going to make the league. I remember the days where he was left out of the top 100 ranked high school prospects. ESPN left him out of their top 100 ranked high school prospects. I remember when they even said that You know, at best, he'd be a late first-round pick, possibly a second-round pick. I remember when he came off the bench for half a season for that midget, Devontae Graham, and a lot of Charlotte fans championed that shit. I remember all the little bro, all that little bro shit. Guys like Terry Rozier on that team just disrespecting him. Guys like Gordon Hayward disrespecting him. All that little bro bullshit. Hey, what? Who's little bro now? That little bro, that little bro shit ends today. Yeah, Melo's big bro out here, man. Two hundred and sixty M's. Talk to him nice. Are you crazy? The Melo Bulls officially the franchise. They have officially given him the keys to the franchise. Yes, you've always been the best player on this team. But now, you make the most fucking money on this team. It's a hell of a day, man. It's a hell of a day. You know, I've I've said my piece on LeVar Ball, you know. But today, today I give him congratulations. Today I give him and Tina Ball their flowers. Because, you know, at the end of the day, they did put him on this path towards becoming basketball players. And, you know, despite all the trials and tribulations that led to this point, ultimately you are here now. $260 million. The Mellow Ball and the family celebrate tonight. Because you did it, man. You did it, man. When you really look at this guy's journey, bro, the mental fortitude, the mental toughness that the Mellow Ball has is second to none, man. It's crazy. All this shit that happened with the JBA... All this shit with him going to Lithuania. Then having to come back to Spire. Jermaine Jackson is another one. Shout out to you, Jermaine Jackson. Shout out to you, Jermaine Jackson. Shout out to you because you saw the talent of a LaMelo Ball. You understood what you were watching in LaMelo Ball. And you gave up a lot. To become this kid's manager. Let me stop saying kid. This young man's manager. You, you gave up a lot to become the Mellow Bulls manager. Because you understood the journey. You understood where the Mellow Bull was going. $260 million. Shout out to you, Jermaine. Shout out to you, the Mellow Bull. And now there can be no more questions. You can hate on the kid. You can make jokes. Just remember, the nigga's worth 260 M's now. Look at him funny. Hey, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, listen, you old ass niggas, it's time to get down or lay down. Because now you're in a position whereby, if you even look at Melo wrong, <laughs> trade, trade, might fuck around and get your ass traded for draft compensation, for cash considerations. Yeah, yeah, the table's on turn, nah. The tables have turned, boy. You are now looking at the franchise right here. And now the serious business starts. Now the serious business starts. 
Because, yes, whilst there is also a lot of pressure on the men of ball now, because you have got the money, now you are the leader, now you are the franchise, yes, there's a lot of pressure on the men of ball. But there's equally, if not more, pressure on the Hornets to now actually build a team around the men of ball. You know, you made some of the right steps so far. You know, uh, drafting uh, Brandon, Brandon, uh, Brandon Miller. Resigning uh, Miles for one more year, which I'm going to explain a bit more about. I might make a video on, on Miles Bridges a little later. But now the pressure's on the Hornets to build a team around him. You know? In regards to the mellow ball, that little boy shit, that, that Chino Hills kid shit, man, that, that, them days are over now. Now you are a leader, bro. Now you are... The big boy on this team. Now you are the voice of the Hornets. You are the look of the, you are the face of the Hornets. You are the look of the Hornets. You are the voice of the Hornets. And now, with a potential lineup of Lamelo Ball, Terry Rozier, Brandon Brandon Killer, B Killer, Brandon Miller, Miles Bridges, and Mark Williams at the five. Lamelo Ball, you now potentially have a team that you can take to the playoffs. Because I fully believe the Hornets can go to the playoffs. I look at the Eastern Conference and I see a lot of teams in the East that are food. That are food. A lot of people talking about, you know, this Hornets team could potentially make the play. And nah, fuck a, fuck a play in. Bro, this Hornets team can make the playoffs outright. The Knicks were the five seed last season. I don't think, I don't, I don't think, the, Knicks, I don't think the Knicks are better than, than the Hornets. There's a lot of teams in the Eastern Conference that are food. And the Hornets are in prime position. Lamelo Ball is in prime position to lead this team to the playoffs outright. The pressure, the pressure cooker's on. The serious business starts now. Now you are the guy, Lamelo Ball. You are the franchise. $260 million. Talk to my boy. Nice. Ted Rosier. Gordon Haywood. And the rest of these bitch ass niggas that been hating on on the mellow ball in the organization, outside the organization, you bitch ass Charlotte fans that been low key hating mellow since he's been here. Right, it's time to get down or lay down, man. It's time to get down or lay down. You get it? You see it? Five years, two sixty. The mellow ball, you are finally the franchise, man. It's a proud day. You get me? Now it's time to go to the fucking moon, my bro. Now it's time to go to the moon. Now it's time to be 1-1. Unoriginal FC over and out.